Welcome to Esoteric Soul Teachings. It's very exciting for me to be able to uh, videotape again. Well, I have some pod podcasts that are out this time, but I haven't done a video for a good piece of time. But it's time to do it. So welcome, everyone. <clears throat> this podcast is... I think quite germane to what's going on right now and it's what I'm being told by spirit that I need to address. So one of the first things I want to talk about is all the changes everybody's experiencing whether they're conscious of it or not and see if I can assist in in relieving some of your tension at the changes and to also enhance your um, ability to walk on your on your own soul path while we're going through these changes. What I'm speaking of, if you haven't heard this phrase, we are in a new world matrix. It's, some people call it a natural matrix rather than a man-made matrix. I don't know how that phrase exactly works but I just know that that's one of the ways they're describing it but but we are in a new new times so anything that we've been doing isn't working the same way and I'm sure most of you have noticed that and also we're experiencing um, some very unusual bodily um, uh, responses so I'm going to talk about those. First of all, I'm going to talk about the reason we're experiencing them. And part of the reason is, is that we are being assisted by forces that are involved in not only the angelic realms, the galactic realms, the, the inner physical earth realms, we are being assisted through this change. It's a universal thing. The, the, the earth was a prime property and has been, but for thousands of years, it has been uh, utilized by sources that have not been favorable, that have one thing in mind, and that is, you know, slavery is, is the only way I know how to describe it and you know one form of slavery after the other has been here for thousands and thousands of years that we do certain things because that's what we're told to do even those of us like myself that's always been a rebel of sorts it still has that feeling about it that feeling like um, if if I don't do this something will will occur it's almost like having a grand, a huge grandparent uh, in the sky telling us what to do. But what I want to say to you now is that we are being assisted and those influences are now diminishing, which is actually at the seat of the reason we're having some of the difficulties um, in our physical body, mental, emotional, and spiritual body. So let me explain. The diminishment of control that's, that's taking place right now. I know it's very hard to tell because it seems like there's plenty of it out there, especially with the politics running and playing, those storylines and so forth. But on the inner and in our personal world, what's happening is, is that we're now drawing our energy and we are able to draw our energy into the, the core matrix of our body, of our inner core, and paying less attention to what's going on in the outer. Less focus on the games or the stories that are out there. It's, it's a strange thing to say, but in some ways, if we really look at it, we really don't care about it anymore. It's that strong. That feeling is that strong. So that's peculiar all by itself. It feels like we don't care. We care, 
but what's happening is is the kind of caring that is in place for us right now is the caring of bringing forth acceptance, love, and compassion, and drawing that from from sending it out or spending that energy outward, but bringing it in to your own inner core and bringing it in to those people who can uh, can brighten their light and, and assist right now. So as we're doing that, uh, a strange energy starts coming over us where we say, for instance, are really tired all the time. Everybody's been calling me, you know, I'm tired. What's going on? I, I feel dizzy. Uh, something's wrong with my with my memory. I, I don't seem to have a, a, a decent memory. And I want to address that one in particular because the memory is disappearing and it's the memory of the past which no longer serves us. And it's dissipating. All of the past memories are releasing themselves because they serve us. They don't serve us anymore. To dwell in the past isn't going to work and to dwell into the future isn't necessarily going to work either. So this energy that we're working with right now that's going to assist us the most is, of course, staying in the now. So the, the way to do that is when we come up against resistance, we merely, whether we like it or not, whether it feels good or not, or whether we feel like it's a, uh, it's a bad thing or a good thing, instead of doing that, we're moving into acceptance. And as we move into acceptance, the past drops away. And what I'm noticing is that the memory of it or the emotions of it are also dropping away. And that's okay. That's the way it works. And it's the way it's supposed to work. In the meantime, something miraculous is happening in the skies, and that is we're having solar flares along with assistance from the other planets uh, around us, the galactic planets. The... And as the solar flares keep releasing, it's throwing into the atmosphere more light and heat, by the way. Some people are calling me saying, I don't know what's going on. I, I'm, I'm really, really hot. Well, I'm in Arizona, so uh, yeah, really, really hot is one thing, and then there's really, really hot that feels like you're burning. But what's taking place really is, is that our bodies are now adjusting or attempting to, to adjust to more light coming down to us into our vehicles. Now, there are things we can do with that. Of course, meditation always. Um, uh, have yourself in a place where you can break old patterns. Like, for instance, if something comes up that's an, it's an old topic that you've gotten engaged in before, well, you're just not going to engage in it. You're, you're going to take a break. You're going to excuse yourself to go to the restroom. I don't know what you need to do to uh, to break the to break the cycle, but you want to break the cycle in in this old um, complaint or argument because that isn't where we're going to walk. And the new light coming in from the solar flares, you know, makes our body kind of um, uncomfortable. I don't know how to say it any other way. So what I'm saying to people when they call me about this is I'm reminding them. But this is all part of the change. It isn't anything bad. It isn't wrong. And there's nothing happening that they, they need to um, get upset about. Just ride it through. I've said that so many times. Ride it through. When you can, um, distract yourself. Or... Allow yourself to 
to move on to something else that's more in the present moment and and more helpful for you. Now, if you can see the balancing that's taking place is that as the energies are being taken away by the by the um, the false matrix or whatever you want to call it by the 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 original suggestions from the slave drivers, so to speak, uh, or the, 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 the consciousness that has ruled this planet for so long. When that's being drained off, what we're left with is this big question mark. It's like, okay, so wait, wait, now what am I going to do? What am I doing now? Um, what do I need to do now? Uh, a lot of questions about the future, about, you know, am I okay? Um, things have been the last couple of weeks or three weeks, maybe even more than a month, there's been this uh, kind of emptiness. And it, it almost has equated for some people into loneliness, feeling lonely. Now, you can feel lonely with a house full of people. So we're talking a disconnection from within yourself. So, so breathing into that and, and gathering yourself and doing service to others, if you're really in a, a strange place, go help somebody else. Go. It's just a beautiful formula that helps, okay? The other thing is, is please give yourself, I mentioned rest, please give yourself more rest. Up your nutrients. Make sure your nutrients are in place because your body is now going to start normalizing or it's going to start um, acting differently. Let's put it that way. Because you no longer are fighting the same um, uh, resistance or the same uh, struggle, you might say. So what we're looking at is, is we're looking at realizing that we are here and we're part of this or we wouldn't be here right now. In fact, it's clear to me that, uh, and some of you already know this, but after going through uh, a, a fairly lengthy time of, of uh, doing some health stuff myself, that it's it, you come out of there, you come out of it, and you heal through it, and you slow yourself down, and you begin to realize that what life has in store for you is in the moment. It's the now. It's being able to see who you are and what you want for yourself. And the void or the feeling of void won't last very long. Something will come into your space that's creative, new, um, more nurturing for you, more you. Uh, the mo most important part is it's more authentically you. Now, I want to touch back in for just a moment with the, the slave consciousness again because I think it's really key. That seems like a drastic thing to say, slave consciousness. But if you really think about it, and the games that are being played in the outer world, we're talking about the political games. We're talking about the beauty game games. We're talking about marriage games. We're talking about you know all of the activity that's taking place on the outer part of our existence. And... Those games are one of the ways that we stay bound and in, in prison or in servitude. Not, not, good, not service that I'm speaking of in terms of service to humanity, but the, um, the feeling like you don't have any choice. It's not an accident that a couple years ago uh, the planetary aspect that came through and and it's still going on where we're really looking at all of the 
human beings on this planet that are dealing with uh, a slave uh, consciousness. Some, we're slave to all kinds of things. We're slave to our money. We're a slave to our relationships. We become a slave to to um, attachment to to certain things that um, are so important to us. We can't let go of them. So that kind of slavery is what I'm really talking about, and it's important that we realize that there is nothing that has us in slavery. We have the choice and we know that we are choosing. Our soul is choosing everything that's happening to us. Everything. It's serving some sort of purpose. We don't know what it is. I spoke with a client a couple of days ago where it was a, a scary almost death situation for the person. She was so ill. And when the session completed, what came out of that session essentially was that her willingness to accept what happened and not know why. It was, a, it was an odd thing. I mean, there's, we're going to have lots of surprises. My, uh, what, what took place with me a couple of years ago was a surprise. It's like, where did it come from? I don't know. So trying to figure it out is, 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 you know, an addiction to having to know. It doesn't matter. See what it is and see how it could serve you. And even if you can't see it, know that you will. You will understand at some point. So there we are. That's the essence of, of acceptance. It's very, very, very exciting what's happening for us right now. We are moving towards a world that we've always wanted, and this planet has not been there for a very, very, very long time, thousands of years, where there was this kind of uh, inner peace and understanding. So it's up to us in individually to align with that which brings more light in and brings more love in, brings more compassion, more peace. And it's us that need to do it. And it's not an easy task. We're, we're hooked. We're a slave to our thoughts and our belief systems. And that doesn't work. It's all new. It's all coming forth in a new way. So I hope this, I hope this is of assistance, no matter what's taking place with you. It will serve its purpose. I can speak personally for that myself. I'm just now reaching a point where I'm gleaning some of the benefits of, of a very difficult time. And even a time when I could have chosen to not be here. But see, I, like, like I'm sure a lot of you have conscious knowledge of, you, you're here because you asked to be here. This is, a, this is an amazing time on the planet. This is not an accident that you're here and that you have the consciousness to even listen to what this podcast is talking about. It means that you decided to be a servant of light. And all I can say to all of you is I'm here to talk about that with you or to remind you, but it's only you that can do the acceptance. It's only you that can let go of, of the um, addictive patterns of, of, you know, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually that keep you in servitude to something that isn't life-giving. 
This is a rather serious uh, podcast this time, but I want to tell you this is really good news. And we're not, it's going to take a while. It's a process. So do your meditations, nurture yourselves, stay in the now as much as possible when you hit resistance. Breathe. Do anything you need to do to let it go and accept what is, even if you don't like it. Even if you don't like it. So I know I've repeated myself, but sometimes that helps. I love you all and appreciate the fact that, that you're drawn to that which can serve you and serve humanity and serve the world and all living things. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, but there'll be a podcast coming soon. Thank you.